Welcome back to Lego Holds My Life Together. Today I've got another one of the Botanical Collection Wildflower Bouquet. Uh, my wife and I talked about flowers and she said, why buy flowers that just die? Why not buy something that lasts longer? And Lego has come up with flowers. So you've probably seen a few of these sets already. Uh, if you haven't, check them out, like and follow. Um, so now with the price of fresh cut flowers, this was actually about the same price to get her the Lego set. So we had fun. I do like it's an 18 plus set, set number 10313. It's got 939 pieces. And what I love with these is they use the old Lego pieces. And we'll show you, I want to show you the manual as well. They, in the instruction manual, they give you little comments about what they chose and which flowers. And so we'll go into the first one. Here it tells you some of our flowers, the uh, leather leaf fern, and it gives you a little comment about what type of plant it is, when it's used in bouquets, where it's from, uh, Queen Anne's lace or cow parsley, or the Welsh poppy. And as it goes along, it also often will reference um, in the books, or I just flip through here, it talks using existing elements in unusual ways is at the heart of Lego building. So in the middle here is actually a car hub that's been turned yellow. And we'll see that as we go through. So I'll go through an order as we find in the book. This is called the leather leaf fern. And you can see the pirate palm tree leaves are included in. So we built three of these, the long straight stem. All of them on this one are straight stems. Some of the other set had leaves, which made it difficult to put in the bouquet. Straight stems make it nice and easy. So the next one is Queen Anne's Lace. I like this. It has... The plants that you would have in a normal city with the three stems and the white flowers and they've just combined that to make a flower uh, nice beautiful and the set came with two of these we carry on to the welsh poppy i'm not a flower guy i don't know the difference between poppies but this one apparently is welsh uh, again they used car hood parts the car rim to make a beautiful poppy. And this one, even as a flower, not a flower guy, I could tell this was a poppy. Uh, we got two of these in the set. Next come corn flowers. I don't recognize these in real life. I'm gonna have to look them up yet, but the set came with this one in blue, and uh, two of them in blue actually, and then one of them in white. What I do like, um, these pieces that came out, I first saw them as like eggs or gold uh, decorative. And then they've got brown human heads combined with flowers to make it. So it's nice, it's pretty, and it gives us some color to go along with everything else. All of these are bright colors. That's the other thing I like about it. The last bouquet I got my wife, they were more uh, neutral tone. So next one here is lavender. Uh, some of the purple leaves, lavender color leaves, sorry, and a lavender color head on top, human head, and then the straight stem. So the set came with two of these to be built, two. This one is my absolute favorite. It's Lupin, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and obviously it's because of the pirate hats. But we've got purple, pink pirate hats which two of my daughters, their favorite color is purple and pink. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and it was a fun little build. I like, like you say, they're using parts that already exist, just recoloring them, repurposing them. The set came with two of these as well to make sure you have a balanced bouquet. Next, we have oh, Larkspur, Larkspur. I like this one again, human head. They've used some of the larger flower decorations. Um, these green pieces for where it goes to the blue head, I first saw them when they were using it in the minifigures to allow the minifigures to stand on their base in various positions. So they've just continued to use it. And I've used these green pieces when I've built gears in Technique Lego before. So it uh, they're just using what they have and they're making beautiful, beautiful arrangements here so that my wife can enjoy the Lego as much as I do. Finally, these ones were a close, close tie or just behind my favorite because, again, you've got the Pirate's Crow's Nest here. You've got Oars as the flower. And these are Gerbera. Gerbera, yeah. 
and so they came in a pink and a yellow um a lot of a lot of hands and uh and petals we tried to do the she loves me she loves me not she loves me but some of them are a little solid they don't come down and they didn't pull oh i guess you could pull the petal off and do it that way so there we go um just a hint you got to start with he loves me not i think so that he loves you at the end uh, future reference <laughs> and voila we have a uh, beautiful flower arrangement the wildflower bouquet uh, it's exciting and it's another way i can show my wife that i love her while still playing with lego it just goes to show when you have lego nothing can hold you back